So in this video I'm going to follow up on the battery that I made previously and try and get some better performance. So here's a mock-up of the previous battery. Basically we have some salt water and you have two different metals. In this case I'm going to use aluminum and copper and if we check the voltage here we've got about a half a volt and the problem we have here is the C rating of this battery and the C rating is its rate of charge and discharge and it's quite low because of the surface area and I can, I'll demonstrate that. Okay, I'll just short the battery across here. So we have five milliamps tops and then it quickly discharges. Now we can go ahead and charge this up. Now this is totally the wrong voltage. Uh, this, I've got six volts on a half volt battery. This is not recommended, but just for demonstration purposes. So immediately we have lots of gassing. And it's just way too much. But at least we could charge this up and just for demonstration purposes. All right, let's try the current rating again. So we had 90 milliamps and falling. Pretty low. All right, let's try something different. So this is a chunk of aluminum that I used for my solar concentrator project. I, I've since torn it apart, but I'm gonna use it again for this battery. So I need to do is cut a strip the whole length. All right, so there's a strip. It's about three feet long or something like that. And now let's go for the second metal. Now this here is a roll of uh, copper used for stained glass. It's really quite narrow, but it's the only thing I could find. And so uh, I could repeat this with a wider piece that's easier to work with, but this will work for demonstration purposes. So basically this particular one is, is uh, it's even less desirable because it has this uh, cardboard on the back and there's some adhesive under there. So our goal is to increase the service area. Unfortunately, we can only use half of it. But it is what it is and it's what I have. So let's just proceed. Now when we make this, we need to have a separator. And when batteries were first invented quite a while ago, they used a piece of cotton fabric. So I've got an old t-shirt here and I'm going to use this. I'm going to cut this all about that wide, something like that. And I'll just cut this in two, and then we'll go on to the next step. All right, so here's the next step. So what we need to do is we need to separate the copper from the aluminum. So I'm going to fold this over. And I'm going to wrap the copper one on the inside. And it really doesn't matter which way is which, just so that they don't ever touch. There's going to be a small gap between these two metals because of the cotton, and the electrolyte will flow. All right, so I got a pencil. So I need to start it. And I'm going to, once I get started, it's going to be a little bit easier. So when you wrap this, you want to make sure that that cotton is completely around that aluminum and there's absolutely no way that it can short. It takes a while. After a while we won't need the pencil anymore because I've got a round surface. I've got a little bit more to go. Okay, so I'm going to stop right there because I want a couple of leads. So I'm going to snip this uh, copper. And then what I'm going to do is take this here and wrap this around so that they're separate, but then it'll hold the battery together. But before I tie it in a knot, 
we need to do a continuity test because it's certainly possible that to short this out. So we have a short. So I'm going to have to back up and find it because that is not going to work. Okay, let's see if this shorts. Okay, no shorts. So it must have been that uh, last little bit where it came out like this. I don't know if you can see that. So we'll make sure that that is not shorting this experiment. And I'll wrap this around and really get some separation between the two of them before I tie a knot in it. So we're showing a considerably higher voltage here. Let's go ahead and charge this. Now again, this is way too fast. But at least we know we're going to charge it to some extent. You'd never want to do this in practice. All right, let's stop charging. And let's see what kind of current we can get out of this. I'm going to try that one more time just for kicks and giggles. All right, let's see what kind of current we can get. Wow. It started over an amp. And that's not bad for this little battery. but it quickly decays. So as you can see, the surface area makes a dramatic difference in the performance of the battery. Now for further tests, uh, we should uh, charge this at an appropriate level over a period of time and then discharge it and then we could get an accurate C rating and an accurate current rating, its maximum current. But it's so much better than the previous design that at least uh, we're moving in the right direction. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel.